Welcome to ComSpark. Today we are in Cincinnati, Ohio. My name is Rich Seibert of Riverbed Technology, and I will be your guest host today. I would like to welcome our guest, Scott Denall, Senior Director of Atricure. Scott, thank you so much uh, for being here. It's an honor to be with you today. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this, this session. Uh, what has been the most satisfying accomplishment in your career to date in IT? I can easily say in my 33, 34 year career in the IT world that the development of a strategy or how to develop strategy for the small and mid-sized business. If you, if you go out and you get help from a Gartner or a Forrester, there's a, they have a 120 page slide deck that says here's how you develop a strategy. That just doesn't work for the small mid-sized business. Mm -hmm. So over the years I have developed a strategy at a, at a basically a process on how to develop a strategy as a mid-sized organization or small mid-sized organization and using service delivery and also using the service definitions for the business. I've had the opportunity to then also share that, not only nationally, but also will be coming up internationally. That's fantastic, congratulations. Thanks. Um, what, are, what are some of the challenges uh, you're most concerned with about within the IT field? I would say the biggest risk now is the cybersecurity and how quickly that is changing. If you do a little bit of the reading, you'll see that they're starting to use AI in the cybersecurity world and then just the mass amount of attacks or different approaches they use to try to break in or breach a company, it's hard to stay ahead of that. Mm -hmm. And just keeping on top of that is it makes me nervous because it's the weak point is the employee and, and that's just true in all cases. Mm -hmm. So keeping them informed, keeping them educated on what to look for when it comes to cybersecurity, uh, phishing or whatever is a huge challenge and with the success of AI, their success rate is raising too. There, there are so many different threat vectors coming at organizations uh, and they seem to be ahead of the game mm -hmm. uh, than, than, than technology and vendors and there are also so many different solutions and vendors out there. How do you how do you how do you sort through all the all the opportunities uh, for solutions in, in the cyber in the cybersecurity space? So what I did is I put together kind of a, a diagram as kind of concentric circles mm -hmm. and understanding if our intellectual property is on the very center and the outside are users and there's probably three attack vectors. You basically have someone coming in from the internet, you have someone coming in from email, or you can have a physical breach. So each of those attack vectors have to be looked at at multiple layers. So the first thing we did was lay out all of our layers, say what do we have, where are we fairly solid, and where are our large gaps. From that point, we then took a look and say, okay, what do I need? Maybe it's an email gateway. Uh, so we actually worked with another vendor. Mimecast was one of the vendors we used. Mm -hmm. uh, another piece was just watching our ingress and egress of all of our internet traffic. Mm -hmm. And we actually took on a third party because it was probably a third cheaper to outsource cybersecurity because I cannot afford a person or the number of people it would take to watch it seven by 24 by 365 and I can't afford the, tra the training and the loss of employees, which so it has made more sense for me to do that. Absolutely. D digital transformation is the buzzword. It's been the buzzword for several years, uh, and it, it encompasses many different things. Um, how is your company embracing transformation with a digital strategy uh, in that mobility sense or in a, work in a, in a workflow sense? So digital strategy to me is kind of the automation of, of process, the automation of data, the collection of data. How do we get away from the manual processes, the manual things we did for years and years and years and get to a space where we can do more with less? When how can I improve an employee's productivity by helping them work themselves out of a job by eliminating the non-value added work, the things that they keep repeating over and over and over again. An example, we just made a change for a, the planning process. It took one gentleman three hours a day to do this one process. And by automating that workflow, we were able to take it down to five minutes. Now that frees him up 
to do more types of analytics and better planning work. The other thing would be the data collection where there's a challenge when it comes to your best in breed products versus your integrated products. Mm -hmm. And many smaller companies have chosen the best in breed because hey, this is what I need, but then they realize five years later, I'm having to enter the same data in 12 or five different times. And also I cannot get the two sets of data to relate to each other. So how do you handle that? We've chosen to go with an operational data store up in the Azure, up in Azure. Mm -hmm and then giving the analysts within the business units, like a financial analyst or a sales analyst, the capability of accessing that operational data store with their own tool, whether it be a Tableau, a Power BI, mm -hmm. whatever they like and feel comfortable with because they know the data. I want to be out of their way as an IT leader. Mm -hmm. I want to give them the opportunity. Here's your data. It's clean. We've helped you uh, normalize that data. Now you can go get it and you can start using dashboards, you can use better reporting, you can start using on mobile applications. That's another place where we've actually started going. We have a large field sales force and a large field group that works remotely. Mm -hmm. Everything they do is from their phone. Oh yeah, absolutely. So to give them an application that runs on a PC, uh, that's not going to work anymore. You, you've got to think more about tablets, you've got to think more about, they live and die by their phone. Can we provide the information they need in a that kind of a device? Sure. So that is a big challenge for the digital strategy. So you're you're giving your employees uh, an opportunity to focus more on mission critical tasks, right? The, uh, than 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 menial tasks that that aren't as that aren't as mission critical to the business, which is a great thing. Yes. Yeah, so well, just another example would be you think about backups. Mm -hmm. uh, backups of servers are are critically important, and but nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares until oh, I need this file. So it, it, we've tried to look at what functions and services we're providing as an IT organization and saying, okay, how can we take that, free ourselves up from those non-value-added tasks to give our people a chance to look on the more difficult challenges. We started with IT and now we're starting to reach out as we understand the business and what the business needs, doing the same thing for them. How do we help them work themselves out of a job of that menial task that has to be done, that's required, but it's really adding no value to the business. Absolutely. You mentioned Azure, everything is, is being moved to the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. All apps, mission critical, mission critical apps are being um, moved to the cloud. Uh, you know, measuring the performance, providing the same experience of those, of those applications to your end user, whether it's on-prem or, or in the cloud is, 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 is critical. Uh, how are you, how is, the, how is Atricure embracing the cloud and what are you doing uh, with, with, with that uh, to bring, deliver to your, to your end user, end user customers? So we have taken on what we call a cloud first strategy. About 80% of our applications are currently software as a service applications. We have our ERP manufacturing finances, that actually is on-prem in a colo. But the rest of our applications we've looked at and said there is no value for me to run those. There's no value for me to continue to buy hardware, the upgrades, the patching. So we look at any solution. First of all, we say if you choose the right partner that has the right solution that's going to solve your business problems and bring the business value you have. And then you start asking questions like, can we, do you have a software as a service? Um, do you provide software as a service? Do you provide platform as a service, infrastructure as a service? Mm -hmm. We kind of go down that path until we, the last case would be, oh, I will have to buy hardware. I'm going to have to put this on prem. Because once again, that brings me back to bringing non-value work into the IT organization that just keeps loading up the base and my base grows, then my ability to work on projects and value add reduces. And there's a security element that's added to that when you have devices on-prem too. So you're, you're managing, not only are you managing the, the performance of the applications, but you're also, you're also managing the security of those applications via the cloud relationship. So that's, uh, it's, it's critical. I, I think one of the things you're not going to get away from is the need for a solid network and, and a solid networking strategy because of you have to be, that last mile has to be connected. You have to have the ability to get into your environment, whether it be through um, public or private uh, network capabilities. Mm -hmm. So that I think you've got to have a good connectivity. You've got to have the accessibility. It's always got to be there. It's got to be seamless for people, but always keeping in mind 
How do I protect the intellectual property? How do I keep data on the phone, on a tablet, on a PC safe? So we basically have four key strategies within my IT organization. The first one is the implementation, oh, I'm sorry, the first one would be the integration of applications through data, which we talked about the, the operational data store. Sure. The second one, workflow automation and processing. Third, core business functions, that's just keeping the lights on, keeping the business running. And then lastly, that is all encased by cybersecurity. And cybersecurity makes it a challenge because there's a dichotomy between ease of use versus the how well protected you are. Mm -hmm. And everyone wants the least path resistance. At the end of the day, it's, it's about um, business outcomes, mm -hmm. making sure that you provide solutions that are gonna drive revenue for the business, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's really it. And that's our job, is, is to work with you all to make mm -hmm. sure that you, we provide that continuity and that business outcomes for the business. So this, it sounds like you're uh, doing a fantastic job uh, at HRQ, are very impressed uh, with this conversation, and uh, thank you. I look forward to further discussions with you down the road. Thank you very much. It's, it's been a great time yeah. being here. Thank yeah, you. Great. Thank you so much. I would like to thank Scott Denall of HRQ for joining us today and for listening to the to the interview. To learn more, go to comspark.tech.